Hey guys, we're in Cheriton, Iowa for another LBR at your LBS video. The LBR at your LBS videos are brought to you by TerraCycle, makers of exquisite parts and accessories for your bent. Now here in Cheriton, Iowa, there's only one bike shop and the bent shop that everyone is talking about all around the Iowa area is Connecticut Yankee Peddler. Dave Hendricks is the man I think we need to go inside. Let's have a look at Connecticut Yankee Peddler and meet Dave Hendricks and the crew. Come on, guys. Well, Dave, how are you? <laughs> Good, Gary. Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Connecticut Yankee Peddler right wow. here in Sheraton. What a privilege it is to be here. We have wanted for a long time to come and talk with you and see what all the hubbub is about here at Connecticut Yankee Peddler. Dave and I have had a chance to sit down on a couple of great looking trikes. Dave, what are you on there? I'm on a cat trike expedition, Gary. Uh, great, and I'm on a beautiful orange-toned uh, Scorpion FS26, I believe. That's right. Well, let's start, first of all, uh, with the history of Connecticut Yankee Peddler, and I think so many people really want to know where that name came from. Let's start there. Well, first of all, I'm not from Connecticut. It comes from a uh, book a Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court. The gist of the little part of the story there was dispense with the horse and ride a bike because the knights rode them and they got further on the bikes than they did the horses. How did you start out? What year was it? And tell us how the, uh, the shop uh, developed over the years, if you would. Back in 1979, approximately, uh, Fred Gay started it up. And uh, I was working as a social worker here in town. He said, uh, would you like to work and have partnership in this bike shop? And I never dreamed of doing retail, but I said, sure, sounds like fun. There were four of us that got into a part-time business. We were all working full-time or going to school full-time. That lasted a year, and in 1981, I said, guys, this has been fun, but we're not earning any money. And I was hoping to have a little bit of money on the side. So I took the shop over in 1981, uh, moved it to my garage, in uh, 1991, we moved houses. I moved it to a 1,200-square-foot building. 1998, I quit my social work job that I'd been working for 20 years and said, I think I'm just going to do bikes full-time. So 1998, we moved in next door to 908 Court here in Sheraton. And uh, 10 years later, we moved into 906, the Ritz Theater remodeled. And that's where we were sitting right now, actually, in the um, atrium of the theater. Foyer, I guess you'd call the, it. The yeah. foyer. And you can still see the bones of the theater here. And we're going to give you guys a tour. It's an amazing shop for many reasons, and that's, that's a really important one. How did you get into recumbent bike riding? Uh, was the shop originally recumbent, and how did that develop? Well, that's an interesting one, and back in 1996, uh, I did what a number of people do. Uh, I'm happily married to Connie, my wife, and uh, 1996, I was uh, searching for an animal that I thought had gotten in my mother's grain bin. Uh, I was up on a, uh, a wagon, and I degloved my ring finger. You can still see the scars of it, and we were doing 80 to 100 mile rides then, and I couldn't do that on an upright bike, and I said, we've got recumbents, let's try it on a recumbent. And uh, that was when I'm going, this is just really, really comfortable. A number of years after that, I had a customer come in and say, I'd like a trike. And I'm going, okay, um, green speed. Uh, he says, well, no, I've got this one I'd like to look at, and it's a, it's a company no longer going but I supplied a trike for him, and then it just kind of grew. We moved in, when we moved in from 908 Court to the theater here, we've got a gob lot of room, and that's what mm -hmm. we're gonna get on the tour. I'll show you that space. And, uh, and I'm like, you know, I could put a lot of trikes in here and, uh, and show 10 brands is what we have right now. Looking at 11, and so, the, you know, kind of the theory of what we wanna do here we just like recumbent riding, and trikes are the in thing in regards to all the balance and issues that come there. What we, do, what we try to do is show people, look, you know, we've got 40 different models here in the store at one time, and you can test ride any of them. You don't have to go to store A, B, and C. You can come here and test ride them all. 
What is the process of getting them going on, on a new trike? It's not really unlike social work when it comes down to it. And uh, we basically try and look at people's needs and uh, see where they are budget-wise and try and meld all that together in one going, okay, uh, you know, you might have some physical difficulties, you might not, you might want to go fast, you might say, no, I want to sit up high. See what those needs are, and then we go from there. And, uh, and basically, I say, look, if you want to spend two or three hours with us here, test ride number one, number two, number three, uh, maybe we want to go back to number one, uh, maybe we want to go back to number two, uh, weed out what uh, isn't quite as good, and, uh, and then finalize on something. The other part of the philosophy is I really like to say three years down the road I want you happy. This is a long-term decision. Where do you take people on test rides? What do you look for in uh, the track that they're going to go on to to find just the right uh, bike or trike for them? As you know Gary we have a unique square if you look outside here. Uh, I call it kind of the Sheraton 500 in the parking area because uh, the square truly is a square, as the old, old time squares. We have a courthouse right in the middle of it and we have parking all around all four sides of the square. Now if somebody is extremely concerned about whether they can ride at all, we'll take them across the street to that parking lot and we can go round and round and round with that. But I really like to get people out on a half mile out and a half mile back and uh, we can go over railroad tracks, we can go down a small three and a half percent grade, we can go a, down a seven percent grade that's not very long, turn around, come back up to seven percent, come back up to three and a half percent, go over the railroad tracks and back to the shop. If they really want to test out suspension, we also have a part right on the test route that we can go that's cobblestone. And so if you say, well, what's this ride like on rough? We'll give you rough. rough. I'm wondering if you could just kind of clue me in on uh, the customers that are coming in. Uh, are they looking for e-assist? Are, uh, are you trying to talk them in certain circumstances into some e-assist? And what kind of numbers are you looking at there for your percentage-wise of your e-assist? Oh boy, you know, we're looking probably about, oh, I would say 30% maybe, mm -hmm. uh, looking at e-assist, whether that be to look at e-assist out of the box, or whether we do a conversion on the e-assist, or a number of folks who have purchased a few years ago are coming back in saying, I hear we can get a little bit of a boost if we have an e-assist. And so yeah, e-assist is, uh, is huge in here. You're sitting on one as you look around in here. Uh, there are a number of them around. And what's so fantastic about e-assist is you can still work as hard as you want, only you get to climb the hills easier and you get to go farther. And what my wife and I do, she was opposed to an e-assist. Mm -hmm. I ride more than she does. She doesn't ride as much as I do, so I tend to be faster than her. And so a couple of years ago, I said, we're just going to get you an e-assist. She didn't argue too much, but she wasn't terribly happy about it. And now she's just so fantastically in love with that because guess what? Dave can ride as fast as he wants and Connie can keep up with him. She could obviously pass me and go, but the point was to keep us together. You had a few folks in here that you were working with with uh, certain adaptive needs. And uh, I was wanted to ask you, um, if you do a lot of that, and does that give you, as a former social worker, I'm wondering if that doesn't give you a lot of extra satisfaction to work with people who have some special needs when it comes to their transportation. You know, we all have special needs, it seems like, to some extent, and it's just a matter of what it is. And so, yes, you're definitely picking up on that, that uh, that's something that uh, is near and dear to my heart. I've worked with folks who were labeled developmentally disabled when I first got into social work, and, uh, and that's just, yeah, it's a special place in my heart for those folks. And uh, sometimes folks can't walk as well or they can't pedal as well. They might need a hand cycle. So, uh, Dave, that's great. Uh, thank you so much for spending a little time bringing us up to date on uh, what Connecticut Yankee Peddler does and is. And uh, how about taking a look at Connecticut Yankee Peddler uh, with our cameras? Can we get a, a tour of this amazing theater bike shop? <laughs> sure, Gary, I'd be happy to take you on a tour. 
So Dave, uh, this old theater as, uh, as bike shop, this is a wonderful uh, venue for, for your bike shop. Let's start with the uh, service department, if we could. Okay, Gary. All right, and this is your service department. Yes, sir. We have uh, two bays for uh, trikes. One bay for uh, bikes. Service is a really important part of any bicycle shop. I know it's the case here at Connecticut Yankee Peddler as well. Tell me about the kinds of services that you provide. Well, Gary, we have basic services as tune-ups, and that could be all the way from just uh, something basic. We've got uh, some bronze tune-up up there. We've got a silver, then we've got overhaul. And uh, another thing just to point out in regards to service is we service what we sell, but we also service for trikes and bikes that we don't sell. We get people from all over the state of Iowa, Missouri, Kansas, and so forth. Okay. Is there a special offer that you make to people that buy their bikes here in terms of service, like extended warranties or something like that? Normally what we do is uh, at least free adjustments for the first year. And uh, sometimes that's, we're pretty liberal with that. That can go well beyond. And who does your servicing here? Well, uh, the Hendricks family. And uh, I have Josh and I have Jordan. Uh, Josh is my oldest, Jordan's my number four, and they've been mechanics with me for, oh my, Josh since he was 15, he's 39 now, what's that, whatever that <laughs> math comes up to. Uh, Jordan uh, has been with me for about 14 years as well. I'm wondering where they learned the skills to be mechanics. Where did they pick this up? Well, pretty much here, but then, uh, you know, did dad teach them? Yeah, dad taught them, yeah. Dave, I noticed walking through the store that you have a very extensive line of accessories. I was wondering if you can kind of walk me through some of the bent-related accessories that you carry on the floor. Well, Gary, basically what we're looking at is bags, uh, you know, all sorts of them, whether that be side pod bags, different sorts of mounts on that, seat pack bags. And what else, Dave? Well, we also have uh, TerraCycle, um, all sorts of mounts for different things. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we get into lights and just the general things for bicycles. We have an extensive line of uh, flags as well. And they uh, makes it extremely colorful for uh, folks on trikes. Well, Dave, so uh, you have uh, two stories here in this old theater. And so now we're uh, we're walking up the ramp to the second story where you have, what, mostly the trikes, eh? We have uh, 70 feet of trikes up here, yes. All right, let's take a look. Now the, uh, uh, the miles of aisles here of, of recumbent uh, trikes and bikes. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the models that you carry here at uh, Connecticut Yankee Peddler. Okay, on uh, this side over here we have Terra Trike. We're a lifestyle Terra Trike dealer, which means we basically carry all the models. On the other side of the aisle over there is Cat Trike, and uh, we're also basically carry all the models of those, multiple models, uh, multiple colors within those models. And just beyond that, coming towards us, we have Ice, and again, we have uh, the Adventure, we have the uh, VTX, and we also have the Sprint in multiple models. Okay, and E-Assist as well. And E-Assist as well, that's correct. Behind us also I notice uh, what, some used uh, bikes? Yes, we take uh, trade-ins, and so we have used trikes, bikes, uh, recumbents, all sorts of lines. Yeah, how old are some of the oldest ones you have back there? Are they like, are they like museum pieces or what? Well, maybe not quite that, but uh, we've got some bikeies back there, and uh, they've been gone for a little while. Dave, uh, another aisle over, lots more variety here. What do we have down this aisle? Well, on the uh, left side over here, we have a number of different Delta trikes, and uh, then kind of coming along around the, the right-hand side there, HP Velotechnic, we've got Green Speed, we have Sun, we have Trident, uh, we have a little bit on KMX, and then if you look behind us there, we also have some two-wheel recumbents. We're going to have Azeb, we have HP Velotechnic, we've got some RANS, and uh, then continuing on around the, the corner there, we also carry tandems. I know a lot of shops don't carry tandems. We have both the uh, TerraTrike tandem and, and we also have the Trident tandem.
All right, guys, I guess that's a wrap here from Sheraton, Iowa. We've had a great time here with uh, Dave Hendricks and uh, the entire crew. Um, we've got uh, the sons who are the mechanics. Uh, how do we know you're the mechanics, though? Look at those hands. They're, they're hired hands, I believe. So we've had a great time, as I said, and we appreciate the hospitality day that you've, uh, that you've extended to the laid back pocket report. We've had tours, we've done uh, the, the test rides, and we've got a look at the shop. So guys, thank you so much. It's great having been here at Connecticut, Connecticut Yankee, Yankee Peddler. Peddler. So long, everybody. Do you work at the Connecticut Yankee Peddler? Um, I part-time do, yes. So now you're comparing this job with the porch, and you're still saying that's the best job you ever had. Well, yeah, because I just clean here, so I make coffee at the porch, so... Yeah, so you're treated like an adult there, basically. Yeah, basically. Right. And your dad, he's he, second best boss ever? Oh, yeah, definitely. All right, that's going in. All right, guys, so... Uh, Dave and I have had a chance to sit down on a couple of great looking trikes here. Looks like a Cat Trike 700, day. Mm, nope, Cat Trike um, X. All right, we're going to just start that all over. All right, guys, so Dave and I have had a chance to sit down on a couple of great looking trikes here. Dave, what are you sitting on today? I've got a Cat Trike X. X <laughs> Jordan, you were talking about Trey. You got some inside information, apparently. What were you saying? Yeah, he got so scared on that flight after they used that duct tape on his plane that he's shooting out glitter farts. Wow. Uh, is that... <laughs> well, you're uh, going to hide I'm, behind? Well, no, we're not going to let anybody hide behind anything. <laughs> yeah. oh. Well, I think we got our... Uh, I think we got together is what we did. Wow. All right, I just got the blue wave of happiness. Yeah, I know.